Welcome uh, once again to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today with Larry Stephenson. Hi, Larry. How are you doing, Hank? Larry is uh, in charge of the street department for the city of Frazee. And, of course, as you may or may not know, it's winter. And what does winter bring with it, Larry? Well, we get lots of snow with winter, and actually uh, winter is just starting to begin in a sense. We're going to have at least three more months of uh, snowfall, and uh, it's starting to pile up quite high already. Yeah, and uh, I know we already have issues, you know, with, uh, and, and, you know, some of them are people that don't realize that when when you get uh, 14 inches of snow that maybe their car should be off the street so we could plow. Yeah, exactly, and it uh, if they do, you know, everybody watches the weather forecast and it would just be nice if, if they seen we were going to get a substantial amount of snow, try to keep their cars off the streets. Uh, we can do our job quicker and more efficiently, uh, less chance of us uh, hitting a car or snow hitting uh, a car and damaging it somehow, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and, and we we have other things that happen too, you know, and just, uh, you know, and it takes, it. this is something that just doesn't happen overnight trying to clean this mess up either. No, we're going to be uh, working on this last storm we had probably for another week by the time we get our piles moved and mm -hmm. everything cleaned back and our hydrants opened up and uh, it's it's quite a job. Well, and then we've got, you know, kids, you know, we've got school going on, we've got uh, pedestrians, we've got other things that you need to watch for because it's winter. And the thing is, it, just because you're in a 30 mile an hour speed limit zone or a 45 mile an hour speed limit zone doesn't mean you have to drive that speed. Conditions are what dictate what you're supposed to do. So, you know, you need to think a little bit <laughs> what's yeah, happening. Yeah. And I, I don't know if we've had any water issues yet. Probably with all the snow cover, we haven't had any water or sewer issues. And No, that helps insulate, uh, especially mm -hmm. on where we don't plow. It uh, mm -hmm. helps them areas out quite a bit as far as freeze-up goes. But out in the streets, naturally, we plow them off, and the frost goes down where it normally goes. And mm -hmm. we're starting to get into the uh, below zero weather coming up here, and uh, mm -hmm. frost is going to push down quite a ways. Yeah, and then uh, the other thing is, you know, not all the... the uh, main arteries in town are a city. We have... Uh, yeah, we have, we've got county roads, we have state roads, and a couple of township roads. Yeah. So it's just not us, you know, and, and sometimes the other entities can't get here when you think they should be, simply because of the amount of snow, yep, too. Exactly. So we ask you to bear with us and do what you can to not only help us, but help yourself, help your neighbor. Be careful. Watch out what's going on. Pay attention. Don't get that tunnel vision thing, you know, where you aren't looking what's going on. This is a very dangerous time of the year. People get injured all the time, or in, like uh, the guy out on 94 west of uh, the trucker that helped during the blizzard got hit and, and, and died now because he was trying to help somebody else out on the roadway. Yep, yep. And the uh, intersections, you know, are getting tall with snow, and uh, people have to take extra caution caution when they pull up to the mm -hmm. intersection, also when they pull out of the intersection, mm -hmm. go slow, make sure there's no cars there and and things like that. And one other thing I'd really like to stress too, that the snow piles are now starting to get high. Of course, kids like to play on snow, dig mm -hmm. in snow. That's probably one of the most dangerous places to play around in the snow is along a city street, because when we come and plow, we don't know what's in there. No, I don't know if the kids tunneled in yep. there. So that's one thing and to stress the parents to tell their kids to stay away from the streets with their snow forts and things. Well, I really appreciate you being on the snow, on the show, Larry. Not on the snow, but on the snow, <laughs> yeah. too. And I appreciate all you people out there in TV3 land paying attention to what we're talking about here. Remember, think, look, listen, and tell your kids and help your neighbors and we'll get it cleaned up as soon as we can. I think we're going to, pro probably by June, we shouldn't have any more snow. We should have it cleaned up pretty good by then. Okay, thanks for being on the show. Good Hank. We'll see you next time. Yeah, and we'll be right back with another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and we have some more information about things that go on during the winter. We're here with uh, Chief Mike Johnson. Howdy, Mike. Hello. How are things in relation into the police land during the... Uh, safety issues that we re run into nowadays too. Well, we've been we've been busy, uh, especially with the weather the way it is and things like that. Um, and I know one of the things we had talked about, you know, is that we have uh, 
the instant alert system, you know, that can let people know and uh, if you'd talk That's about right. that a little uh, bit. We have, well, Crazy and other communities, we belong to the instant alert system. Uh, the, we ask that the people in town here come on into the city office or, or give Marion a call and we can get you set up with an instant alert. Um, with that, it'll send out messages to your cell phone, your home phone, email, or a text message. And that way, um, if we do have a bad storm coming, we can send out messages mm -hmm. requesting you not to park on the streets or um, we can let you know that we're in a blizzard warning. Yeah, or any other type of emergency such as Detroit Lakes had with the gas Yep, lake. last night uh, Detroit Lakes uh, sent out two messages, uh, one to evacuate and one to let people know that it was safe again. Mm -hmm. But even any anything we have, uh, if something happens to the water or anything, we can send that out to our residents and it's uh, great and it's no cost to the citizens. No, it's a service that's provided by the city. So feel free to come in and sign up for this. This is, a, this is a, just a, a great yes. project that uh, Chief uh, Kenna from Detroit Lakes started and uh, has worked out very well yes, so is. far in these last six months. And uh, then, of course, uh, as uh, we get our snow also, we get snowmobiles. Yes, we get our snowmobiles in town. And uh, um, we, <laughs> just, we just recently uh, added a trail coming into town along mm -hmm. County Road 10 on the uh, it'd be the south side of the train tracks and uh, we do have a city ordinance where uh, snowmobiles are not allowed on East Main, West Main, up 25th Street and uh, State Highway 87 which is north and south Lake mm -hmm. but uh, all the other streets the snowmobiles can operate on and uh, you know we welcome them into town. Yeah and you know there's there's parking like uh, <laughs> behind uh, George and Becky's on the corner there's parking available behind the VFW by the bank and Ketter's there's parking over by the Frazier Municipal or up at the grocery store these areas are easily accessible to you and uh, so and come on in. And what we're suggesting is if they come in on County 10 take not a road which is between the railroad tracks and all in all mm -hmm. and they could get around to if they want to go to the yeah. Uh, yeah. family foods or uh, per se the liquor store or something like that. Yeah. And then you can run the alleys through town, you know that's no f problem, but plus there's usually more snow in the alleys which make it easier for you to run your machines on. But we just asked, you know, just be careful and mm -hmm. and uh, obey the laws. Well and just like whatever you're talking about with Larry, you know, you gotta watch out for the kids, you gotta watch out for the snowmobiles, the snowmobiles has to watch out for everybody. Yep. Yep. And and a big thing this time of the year, you know, is also the trains. When the trains goes by, is there's a lot of snow flying, be careful at the crossings. Yeah. You don't know what's going on. They have sometimes they have problems with their equipment, and they may not know about it right away. That's that's correct. We've had more than one car hit on the tracks during yeah, the winter. We have. So we have. Anything else you'd like to uh, talk about just today, Mike? People drive safe. Uh, be careful with the intersections. Mm -hmm. uh, slow down. You know we can't yeah. get out and salt and sand every intersection or to a timely manner. But no. uh, and be careful when you're creeping out into the intersections. Uh, so our guys are working on the snow banks, but uh, they're pretty high right now after this last storm. All right. Well, I appreciate you being on the program, Mike. You know, and I know we're. We're trying, you know, if you, remember, you know, if you're parking on the street, you know, pay attention to the weather because we need your vehicles off the street. And if they aren't off and we have to go around and plow them in, I don't want to hear about it. And <laughs> don't our, call me. And our ordinance is 24 hours. 24 hours. Otherwise, you could get a ticket and possibly be towed. And we hate to have you have that other expense. So just focus, you know, work with us. We're trying to work with you. Thanks for being on yes, the program, Mike, and yes, uh, we'll uh, catch you next week on Spotlight on Freezing.